What's my opinion on ML languages such as F Sharp? Um, my opinion, like, so I, I won't use F Sharp um, unless I have to because it doesn't have um, high kind of types, high kind of, kind of polymorphism, which is something that's absolutely essential to me making, working with software. Um, so I can't express functor. Like the first thing that we did, one of the first, ex so we went through, when we, when we first did the um, FP course, we went through um, optional list, then we jumped straight into functor. Functor is like straight after list, and that's kind of how how essential it is to to program with to me. Like it's I have to use I have to use functor for a couple of reasons. To be able to express functor means that um uh you, you're polymorphic over type constructors, which is a way of of like we've got the idea of parametricity where if we have the identity function a to a, I know that the implementation is that I just know it because of the type. I know this type means this implementation. The the type determines the implementation. And the same thing happens when you have things with functor. So if I had, um, so there's a function called void. It's actually written down here somewhere. Yeah, down there, down the bottom of this file, it's called, there's, there's a function called void. So if I had, if I had this type signature, I know that the implementation is I know that. I just I just know that, that this implementation. That's the only implementation there is. There is no other implementation for this function. So, if I was to say, if I was to remove the functor, if I was able, to, if I was saying list instead. Now, based on the type, there are many, many, many implementations. There's infinite implementations of this. There's infinite implementations because there could be an infinite list of size un of, of of units. So I could say unit cons, unit cons. Nil. I just came up with one. Or I could say the implementation is just nil. Or I could say it is cons nil. Like there's, there's an infinite number of implementations. And so one benefit I get out of out of being able to express um, high kind of polymorphism is that um, you know the types again tell me what the implementation is going to be. So that's that like that's that's extremely critical for, for the way that I develop. You've probably seen it while while I've been working on FP course that um, I really use whole-driven development. And if I don't have high kind of polymorphism, I lose a lot of whole-driven development. I lose a lot of the benefits. Because um, then I have things like list in there, and then it's like, well, what do I do with this? I know what, you know, I might want to, I might specify my function, say that I want to get back a list of units. But, you know, it, it makes it complicated, because now I've got cons. I know about cons, and I know about nil, and I can actually do things with those. So. I don't get directed towards solutions as quickly when I lack higher kind of polymorphism, and that that's that's really disappointing. Um, so number one, speed of development, I, I, like that suffers when I use something like um, F sharp because I don't have higher kind of polymorphism, and also code reuse suffers. But I mean, um, yeah, code code reuse is you know is is also very important to me. But number one is that I don't get directed towards solutions, and I don't get you know the the, the benefits of me going quickly because you know I've I've structured things properly and I've I've structured things using higher kind of types. I don't get directed towards solutions. So that's why I don't like things like F sharp because they, they like that. So Java, F sharp, Elm, all of those types of things. I don't, I, 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 they, they really restrict what I can do. Uh, they make me a lot more slow than what, what I would like to be. So that's why I like things like, you know, I, I really dislike Scala, but Scala actually has this going for it. It does have this, this type of polymorphism that, that directs you towards solutions. So that's, that's important. Um, I don't know much about like OCaml, suppose that OCaml, like, I really don't know anything really anything about OCaml modules. That's something that I would like to learn a little bit more. Um, supposedly they can represent some of this polymorphism in some way, maybe. I, I, I can't really confirm or deny that. I don't know. I don't really know anything about, about modules. But that, that's another thing. Modules are supposedly, they, they are related to, to higher kind of polymorphism in some way. And so I'd like to explore that, but I don't, I don't really know much about that. So my opinion on ML module, my, my, my total opinion of ML is, um, of ML languages are maybe, I'm not sure. Um, but at least F-sharp, definitely no. Hopefully that, ex that explains, like, I, yeah, hopefully I've expressed that in a way that makes some sense. <laughs>